Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the latest season of Fortnite, Last Resort is now live, and it brings a new battle pass with plenty of skins to the game alongside new points of interest on the map, returning weapons, new items, and more. The theme of this season is centered around heists, both of the sneaky and guns blazing kind, and curiously, a vampire at the heart of it all. That vampire is named Kato Thorn, and he's made the battle island his home in Fortnite, Chapter 4, Season 4. He's draining the wealth and treasures around it to fund some new real estate around the island, Sanguine Suites, Relentless Retreat, and Eclipsed Estate. These three locations are strongly defended bases with cameras, laser grids, and guards. And inside, you'll find Thorn has filled them with valuable items. Elsewhere, Thorn has made Rumble Ruins, Slap Juice Factory, and a tower in Mega City his as well. Inside Thorn's estates, you'll find Thienful Trader Pump Shotgun, Scope Burst SMG, and Twin Mag Assault Rifle, which has a flippable magazine that allows for a faster reload every other reload. The business, turret, is new to the Battle Royale, which looks like a briefcase in your hand, but transforms into a destructive turret when thrown. Inside bases are Heist Bags, which are duffel bags stuffed with heisting gear like Crash Pad Jr., items, remote explosives, the rocket ram, ammo, healing items, and more. In the depths of Thorn's properties are mythic items from throughout Fortnite's history, like Matus, Drum Gun, TNT's Ka Boom Bao, Ocean's Bottomless Chug, Kit's Charge Shotgun, Kit's Shockwave Launcher, Zig and Choppy's Ray Gun, The Foundation's MK7 Assault Rifle, and Gunner's Stinger SMG. On the vehicle side, the Nitro Fang is now live in Fortnite. It features multiple looks, including one that makes it look like a pizza delivery car. Regardless of the look, the Nitro Fang features a special handbrake for making Loctite turns. And moving to the new augments. First one is, on the go bag, any container you open will have an item that would be in a heist bag. Second, Sniper Striker, snipers give siphon upon damaging enemies. Third is Ammo Drop, not only it grants ammo, but also makes it so that enemies drop more ammo than usual. Fourth, First Shotgun, your shotguns will deal increased damage on the first shot. Fifth, Pistol Salvo, your pistols will have a reduced fire rate but increased damage. And lastly, Fast Fisher, swim faster and instantly loot fishing spots when you swim through them. And returning augments are, Light Fingers, First Assault, Supercharged, Steady Hands, SMG Sign Off, Keymaster, More Parkour, Rarity Check, Sprint Lines, Medium Ammo Acquired, Mud Warrior, Scope Salvo. The Involted Weapons are now live too, which includes their mode explosive, suppress sniper rifle, and suppress pistol, which has been reworked and is now fully automatic. Carryovers from Season 3 of Fortnite Chapter 4 includes the Sharp Tooth Shotgun, Maven Auto Shotgun, Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle, Thermal DMR, Combat SMG, Exotic, Heisted Breacher Shotgun, Exotic, Heisted Accelerant Shotgun, Exotic, Heisted Run and Gun SMG, and Exotic, Shadow Tracker, and shockwave grenades. A new addition with Season 4 is the Forecast Tower Guard. Killing them will get you their keycard for downloading Storm Info, allowing you to download it after the tower scan to learn about future Storm Circles. Survivor medals are new too, which are earned by surviving. To upgrade to the next medal, complete a Survivor quest in Battle Royale or Zero build that challenges you to outlast a fixed number of opponents while getting a certain number of eliminations. An Epic Games press release reads, the higher your medal rarity, the harder the quests. The most expert survivors get the Mythic 1 medal. You can earn 7 medal rarities, with 10 upgrades per rarity. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic, Legendary, Exotic, and Mythic. Getting the Common 1 medal unlocks, Prize Llama Back Bling, and you'll earn new styles for this bling as you reach other top rarities. And talking about styles, let's talk about Battle Pass skins. We've seen every new Battle Pass skin, but not every style yet. Here's the lineup. We've got Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars over on the right, and TikTok guy Kabi Lame is third from the left. The large fish guy is Fish Thick, and the spooky looking winged guy in the middle is a vampire named Kato Thorn, who will serve as the season's world boss. He has an alt human style as well. And while the guy in the middle may look exactly like Ninja, it's not Ninja. And we have talked about everything that you need to know about this season. This was a video about telling you guys what's new in this season. I will be making another video called First Impression on Chapter 4, Season 4. In that video, I will be giving my honest opinion on everything that got added to the game. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.